Hi guys, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can add a new column in a data frame by performing some sort of a calculation on existing columns as well as using the loops loop to basically um, basically loop over all the values of those columns and then create the output in a new column. All right. Sounds little complex, but it is not if you follow the right syntax. And I'll show you here, and uh, then you can just apply it anywhere you want within your data frames and get the desired output. And this is very helpful in machine learning where you have to do a lot of feature engineering by creating the new columns based on the existing columns by looking at some sort of specific property. For example, um, you have sales and you want to create a bins, right? You can create it or you want to categorize some sort of a sales into some sort of uh, naming convention like high sales low sales mid sales you can do that um, when you are performing calculations similarly uh, many times we have just given the uh, true value of an item and on which it has uh, been sold then you want to figure it out the discount whether you have given the higher lower or no discount then you can calculate the discount based on the true value or the MRP and the actual sale price. All right. So how we can do that over here? It's pretty straightforward. I'm already using this Boston data set from my previous videos, previous last two videos. And uh, hey, what I want to do here is I want to create the average price per room. So here what I have that in each of that locality, what is the number of average rooms? uh in in the house or the flat or wherever, whatever the type of uh, uh you know structure that is and then it's related price 24. so what i want to do is i want to divide 24 by 6 to calculate the average price per room so here this is total room but i want to create average price per room so here it will be uh six 24 divided by 6 will be somewhere around 4 but six, since it is 6.5 it will be three point something so I want to do it for each of the rows so I'll follow my standard index for index comma row in Boston dot iter rows colon and then I will use Boston dot loc this is a function that helps us getting the uh, desired column name or specify the desired column name with its uh, actual name and not by its um, not by its uh, number where it is present so 0 1 2 if you want to do that uh, by specifying the number you can say I lock which is an integer position of or the location of a column so here I will use I the LOC and then I will specify the index so I need to specify each of the index on which the calculation needs to be performed and then it's uh, average price per room, the new column name, right? Then if you remember from my previous video, if I want to access the value of each of the column, I will simply say row and the column name, which is price, divide by row and then the RM. So here, simply what I'm doing is I am creating a new column for each of uh, here I'm specifying the index. So for each of the index uh, under this column, store this value. That is what basically I'm saying over here in simple English statement. If I go and execute that and say Boston dot had to in the first five observation you will see a new column will be created along the price to show average price per room so if I go down over here a little bit along with decide to price you have the average price per room which is 24 divided by 6.5 similarly for second row 21.6 divided by 6.4 so this way you can very easily do the feature engineering by creating new features or the new columns for a data set for a machine learning task as well as any other reporting or analytics task that you have in hand. 